My toxic trait is wanting to try every single task management and calendar app out there, and it's a problem. If you've been around the channel for a while, you know that I love the default Apple apps, Apple Reminders, Calendar, and Notes, but I've actually been using Todoist for the past few weeks for all of my work task management. So in this video, we're gonna walk through my five favorite features in the Todoist app. So let's get into it. Okay, so here we are, and we are inside of Todoist, and I'm in my main projects right here. So my first favorite feature of Todoist is actually the ability to quickly add a task. And you can do this from anywhere within macOS. So all you have to do is click option space and you'll see that it pops open a task name here and I can type in. But the second thing that's incredibly powerful about this is the natural language processing. It is on another level and it is so much better than Apple Reminders or Things 3 or some of the others that are out in the market. So with that, let's use an example here. So if I say send report to Bob, but I don't want it to go to the inbox, which you can see in the bottom left-hand corner. So I'm just gonna say hashtag main. You'll see that it pulls up my project there, main projects. This is a top priority for me. So I'm gonna label it as a P1. And I know that it needs to get done by July 30th. So you can see just how quick and easy it was to type something in, hit enter, and that is now added into my task management tool. Let's do a second example here really quick. So I will click option spacebar. I'm gonna say submit timesheet on Friday at 4 p.m. You'll see that it automatically pulls in the date for this Friday, it adds in 4 p.m. and it even adds a reminder there for 30 minutes before. This is incredibly powerful and I use it all the time when I'm in Zoom meetings, maybe I'm talking with a coworker, or maybe I'm working on a project and something just comes into my mind, I just quickly do option space and add the task in. Moving on to my third favorite feature within Todoist is the different views that you have. If you're on the paid plan, you've actually got three different views. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. So you'll see here, I'm in my main projects view. And here I'm using the board view. If I click view here, you can see board. You can even see the completed tasks and you can change the grouping and sorting for how you want this. A lot of times I will sort by due date so that way the due date is at the top. But again, we can also do the list view as well. But one of my favorites is the calendar view. Now this is exclusive to whether you are using the paid plan, but there's some really cool features in here. So if I go ahead and select the calendar view here, you'll see my tasks. I've just got a couple this week. I've got red ones that are a top priority. But one of my favorite things is actually being able to click on this little no date window here. So what this is showing is this is showing all tasks in this project that do not have an assigned due date. And what you can do is just click and drag them to whenever you wanna do them. So if I take www page copy, maybe I wanna do that on Monday and I know that I need to review the project brief by August 1st and I've already assigned those items. So I do this oftentimes in the morning after I've automatically added tasks using that quick add. I'll go in and look at my calendar and see when I can assign different tasks and when I need to do them. My fourth favorite feature that's a part of Todoist is the Google Calendar integration. So I live and breathe by what is in my Google Calendar and there are two ways you can integrate Todoist with your calendar. So if you go ahead and use the brand new integration with Google Calendar, you will be able to see your Google Calendar events in Todoist. Now I don't have this set up right now, but if you go into your view and you go into calendar view, what would happen here if you switch to week view is you would see all of your Google Calendar events directly in here. The other thing you can do is you can actually use the legacy Google Calendar integration and you can sync your Todoist tasks in to your calendar. So you can see that's what I have here. So if I shift back to my board view here, you can see all of the tasks that I've got to do. So you can see here, send report to Bob. What I want to do is I'm going to add a due date to that. So I'm going to do that on July 30th and I know I need to do that at 3 p.m. I will go ahead and add that and I will close this task here. I also see on the 30th on my calendar right here that we've got this product launch infographic. So what I'm gonna do is go over here. I'm going to click on that and I'm also gonna assign a time to that. So let's say I need to do this at 
5 p.m. I will click enter there. You'll see that it's updated. We will close this and we just have to wait a few minutes and then those will actually populate in Google Calendar. And there you can see just a few moments later, I've got both of those tasks that are assigned at the specific time that I set them in Todoist. Now, if I move them in the calendar, you'll actually see those reflect in Todoist as well. So if you look here, you'll see product launch infographic is at 5 p.m. But if I go over to my calendar here and I move this to 10 a.m., it'll take just a few seconds. It'll say that the event is saved. When we go back over to Todoist, you'll see that it now shows 10 to 11. So that is a really powerful way to manage your tasks on your Google Calendar without actually blocking time on your personal calendar, especially if you're sharing that with work colleagues. The final feature I wanna talk about is custom filters and views in Todoist. You can see here, I've already got three of them. I've got today, I've got this week, and I've got next week. But there are really powerful AI tools within Todoist that allow you to create filters with just a few keystrokes. Let me show you. If I click on filters and labels, you can see I've got today, this week, and next week. I'm gonna go ahead and click this little plus, and I'm gonna click the filter assist with AI. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna create a filter that is just this week's tasks, but only in the main projects view. So all I'm gonna do is literally type that. I'm gonna say tasks do, well, maybe if I could spell right, tasks do this week in main projects there. I will click send, AI is gonna do its magic here, and you'll see that it has pulled in the www page copy and blog post. I'm going to add this to my favorites. I will click add, and there we go. We've now got tasks due this week. So that is purely looking at what's due in the main projects folder. And again, I can do all of the same three views within this filter view. So if I click view, you can see I can do list, or I can do board, or calendar, and there's all kinds of sorting and things you can do there. So that's the way that I'm using Todoist to manage all of my tasks at work on a day-to-day -day basis. If you learned something new, I'd love it if you liked or commented or subscribed and you stuck around on the channel. I'd love to hear how you were using Todoist, so feel free to leave a comment down below and I will see you in the next one.